Hey folks, Clyde Lindsay here at Leechburg Lights. Thanks for taking the time to be with us today. Look, I have a new video that I want to run through and show you something about setting up your own shortcut keys for X Lights 4. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my example folder here and show you that there is a significant number of preset key bindings or shortcut keys that are already installed in X Lights. And if you don't know about this, just go into your uh, your sequence uh, folder, your, your directed folder where your sequencers are saved in and look for your XML uh, XLights underscore key bindings file. And uh, the other thing I'm going to do is let's go in and let's do a little uh, uh, internet search here. I'm going to bring up Firefox here and let's do a little search. We're going to look for a program called Notepad++. We can see it right here. And what Notepad++ is, is it's a, a Notepad is a program where you can edit text documents such as an XML document. And Notepad actually is a little bit more user friendly and viewable or format friendly than Notepad is because it shows up and you'll see what I mean whenever I open it up uh, in the ac open up the actual XML document it'll make it look nice and neat and easy for you to edit so go ahead and go to the go to the official site download notepad it's a free program and uh, let's get on with it so we'll close out of here and uh, since I've already installed this program what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hover over and right click on the key bindings file and we're going to edit with notepad plus plus now it opened up on this screen here and you'll see this is kind of zoomed in a little bit so you can see a little better this is the uh, the current uh, uh, XLights key binding file that um, that is currently saved in this directory now these are some of the uh, most common uh, shortcut keys that, that have already been saved in uh, X lights for you to be able to use right now. Uh, the one that I added though was this one right here. This is the single strand effect. And basically, all I had to do to create this was I just selected a, a line here. I copied it, I right clicked and copied, and then I came down here and I entered a line down below and I hit, I, I went ahead and pasted it. Now I, I created an identical copy, but what can I do now? I can go ahead and I can edit both one of two lines. We can edit the letter that we want to change uh, or want to activate our effect. So, uh, for example, let's see. Um, we can use maybe the letter uh, A. And uh, what's the effect that we want to have a shortcut key? Uh, key for. Well, I selected single strand and I went ahead and added that into the uh, folder. And uh, we'll go ahead and open up XLights just for a quick second so you can see some of the different effects and what they're named as. Um, when you do go into here, um, you all you need to do is we can open a sequence and it will allow us to hover over top or you can just come over to the effects setting and look at the drop down so uh, there's a lot of things that already have the shortcut keys but there's some things that don't have shortcut keys um, there's garlands uh, life lightning I don't think lightning actually has a shortcut key so maybe we'll want to create a shortcut key for lightning so uh, let's go back into our uh, XML document do we have a shortcut key for lightning no we don't so why don't we go ahead and add one before we do before we edit this XML document let's just go back in and close out of X lights uh, make sure your spellings right too so let's go to lightning and have a look at the spelling L I G H T N I N G I know we're not all brilliant we have to look and cheat sometimes and uh, we'll just go in here and we'll spell it out so L I G H T N I N G there we go. It looks like we've edited the document. We'll go ahead and click Save. And we'll close out of the uh, Notepad++. And if we refresh our screen here, we'll see that today is uh, October 27, 2016, and it is 1.34 in the afternoon. And that's when the file was updated. So now let's go back in to our XLights folder, or XLights uh, program make sure that we are connected to 
this directory where we have the example. I think it's uh, it's located right on the desktop and that would be this folder right here and we'll go ahead and we'll open up the the uh, sequence that we're working on and now we use the the lowercase letter a let's go ahead and zoom in and if we press the lowercase letter a you'll see that we have successfully added the lightning effect to a shortcut key and keeping in mind that whenever you do that you're giving it a unique uh, key or set of keys um, so it, in other words you, this could have been a capital letter A I guess and that would mean you'd have to hold you'd have to have the capital A as the item and then you would have to use the shift button and the A button to insert it into the document so I think they did a capital F and that is for the fan effect so you have to hold the shift key down and then press the letter F to activate it so there's a uh, very short video on how to edit your uh, key bindings document that is located in your xlights directory you can do this on your own this is very quick very simple um, and once again that that xlights uh, or the um, the uh, notepad plus plus editor is uh, an amazing thing to have because sometimes an xml document can uh, become corrupted and looking into your own sequence file looking using this uh, program notepad plus plus is uh, is kind of helpful to kind of find uh, errors that are listed in your sequence so um, guys I hope you enjoy the video let me know what you think uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below in the comments section thanks take care and have a great 2016 season we'll see you soon bye